Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will create the another building, another project. This is a long term project. Anyway, we will start from today, we will create the form and uh, this building not so famous, this building not so new anyway. This looks so interesting and I think you will find it interesting too. So this is building from the uh, 1921, uh, it, it was created by one Russian famous architect in Moscow. So and we will create it today in Revit. Let's switch to the Revit. I'm using the Revit 2020. If you are using the other version of the Revit, so uh, you not will able to use my files. So you need get 2020 Revit to use my files, which you will find below this video. Uh, or you just can do um, by yourself in other version of the Revit. So this is doesn't matter which Revit you are using. The only matter if you wanna use the my files. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go to the new new project. We will start from the scratch. New project. And as always, I'm using the architecture template. My own template you can also find below this video. You can use this template for your own project or in the some of the next videos you will find the new video about how to create your own template. So if you want to create your own template and you want to know how to do that, just uh, don't forget about thumbs up and uh, give the some like, don't forget about the comment. So let's continue architecture. And now we are inside in the project. So the first thing we need to understand what we're gonna do from what we will start. As always, I will start from the plan. Uh, let's get the plan. Here this first level, second level and third level. Actually levels, it's not just straight as you think. So this is first level, this is second level, third level. Okay, as you can see here is double height and here is double height. So this is really uh, important for us, but before we will uh, create the uh, levels, we should understand uh, the form what we want to create. As you can see, this is two cylinders and a bit intersection it, uh, each other. So um, the better way now to create mass form and create the wall by mass form. So this is, will be much better way for us. And we will do that. So the first thing uh, I will create the levels. So I need the first level, I need the second level, third level and uh, two levels for the roofs. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we will do that. So let's go back to the uh, Revit. Let's find here, for example, elevation view, east view. Doesn't matter which one. I will use the east view, and let's create it. Here the four meter the, for the second level. Let's check it out. Uh, I don't have any drawings, and we will uh, just looks uh, just will do everything approximately. So uh, it's not bad, but it's also not so good. Okay, so here it looks like yeah, it's maybe like four meters because uh, in at that time uh, the doors uh, doors was uh, really tall not like now it's 2100 millimeters in that time it was three meters and above okay so here it looks like a, a tree uh, let's say here is 2.1 meter and we have like five or six hundred more so this is will be like 3.2 meters so we will do 3.2 meters uh, let's use this one and let's uh, write here the 3.2 meters. Uh, anyway, we will change it later on if you win, if we need that. Here it looks like four and half, maybe four meters. So, so we will do four meters here. So let's copy this level. I just double click CC and copy it. Copy on this distance and let's write here. So let's say I don't know math, math at all. So let's do like this equal. Uh, 3200 plus 4000 so when we will get 4000 and clear distance between of uh, the two le uh, second level and third level let's check it out just select the third level and here you can see this is 4 meter so what I want okay and here is level 3 let's check it out more uh, here we will do like 2000 no maybe like three meters here will be three meters on this stage so this is will be roof let's copy it uh, as i said we will do three meters three meters and let's call it for now the roof roof one to understand this is roof one okay so uh let's check it out the other one uh this is looks like also three meters yeah uh and with some extending we will do the three meters by this level Okay, let's copy it. Now let's copy it again, and we can keep it up without any changing because 
10,000 plus 200 plus 3 meter, we will get 30,200 uh, millimeters. Okay, we did uh, the first things, we already have the levels, so let's go back to the uh, first level, I mean the floor plan, and now we will, we will start work with the plan and messing. The first thing what I want to do, I want to copy from uh, this um, ref, uh, pure ref, uh, this plan. Uh, by the way, all these uh, uh, reference um, um, pictures you also you will find below this video. So uh, you will find the um, zip file, just download it, unpack it and use it. So I will do like this, I will just copy it, I will go here and I will paste it here. It's not possible. Let's all try. Let's all try. Save it somewhere. Save it. Save it as and save it on the my desktop. So let's save it. Uh, just a second. Pure F will save it and here. And let's drag and drop here. Okay. Here is my drawing. So what we're gonna do right now? This is pretty simple. Uh, we need scale it. Uh, okay. Let's find here the somewhere the door. Uh, let's uh, use this door for example and let's say or this one door uh, no this is mm, yeah I will use this door uh, let's check it out it should be being 900 at uh, approximately 900 millimeters so this is only 5500 millimeters so let's do 900 millimeters as I said guys I don't have uh, the uh, really really uh, clear plan with the drawings with the um, with the dimensions so everything what we are we doing this is approximately anyway this is not bad for us okay we will do like this uh, from this point to that point so we get 900 millimeters and now it looks like what we want okay so uh, the second thing we need to understand the radius of cylinders as you can see this is cylinders it's totally same even on this picture you can see this is totally same difference only the height Okay, so uh, I will use, for example, this uh, ruler and let's check it out from this side to that side. Okay, this is, looks like 12, uh, 12, 12 meters. So, okay, awesome. Let's I'll select this image and I will uh, pin it. So, and the other thing more. As you can see, I, I still can select this object, but I cannot move it. But uh, if I will uh, put here the select pin elements, now I cannot select my pin elements and I ca even can just uh, select it and move it. So this is what I want, this is now like a background, so I can work like a background. Okay, awesome, uh, let's find here the mm, messing inside, let's show mess, uh, just click here the show mess and let's create the, our first mess. Let's call it, um, I don't know, mess, mess number one, so let's leave it like that. Let's say OK, and as you can see we have a really, here a really few tools to create the messing form. As you can see here only the drawing tools, so this is much than enough for us. Uh, we need now to create the cylinder, so cylinder this is two cycles, so let's create from the cycle. And as I said it will be 12, uh, 12 uh, millimeter, so uh, the d radius will be 6 meter only. So let's do the 6 meter. Uh, if you will check it uh, right now, you can see this 6 meter is pretty big. Let's make it 5,500. Uh, let's try it. Uh, 5,500 5, is too small. And we will uh, back to the 5,700. Uh, so this is, will be pretty enough. So as you can see, this looks like what we want. Okay, let's put it more correct. Mm, I will put like this. Uh, okay, so now I will switch to the 3D view because uh, with 3D view we can work uh, more easily. So as you can see here is my mm, my cycle, and let's extrude it. Just create the form. Let's create the form. Just few seconds. Revit asking which type the form we want. We want to create the uh, 3D sphere or we want to create the cylinder. So we want to create the cylinder, of course. I will change the uh, my graphic style to the uh, shaded or consistent colors. So this is doesn't matter. I will use this shaded one. Now I can see where is the my edges. So this is better for me. And let's a bit extrude. So doesn't matter which the height you will choose for for now. This is really mm, doesn't have any uh, any. So this doesn't matter. <laughs> so let's go back to the uh, our first level. As you can see, our first uh, cylinder is already finished. So let's use the top key. 
or just select everything and let's copy it. I will copy it and from this center to this center approximately again because I didn't know where is my center. Let's move it a bit down bit 300 millimeters okay so it looks like what we want uh, and let's go back to the again to the level to the 3d as you can see this is totally same uh, cylinders but as we know our first cylinder let's go to the pure ref uh, as uh, our first cylinder is going till the end as you can see right you can see it here too till the end the second one it's not it's stopping on the uh, level one level two level three uh, and roof one so okay so it's stopping on the roof one let's stop it on the roof one just you can select that or you can use the align key so it's only up to you i will use a line key like this just a line no need to lock it so we will leave as it is and let's align the second one like this so we get the shape it's actually it's not finished because uh why i did the shape uh, because the, our form is uh, really simple and we can use the curve wall or we can use arc wall but the reason is because this front view as you can see we should cut it as you can see so and that's why I should cut it and that's why I'm using this form and the second thing I also want to create the slope roof if you will check it out here you can see the roof it's sloping uh, maybe I will find the better image. Oh, maybe here you can see roof is sloping. Uh, it's a bit hard to create the slope curved uh, wall without the form. It's really hard. So that's why I'm using the form. And also, if I will change something, that's why I just will change a bit the form. My roof will follow, or my wall will follow follow the uh, form. So just f I try and find easiest way. Okay, so. Uh, we're starting talking about the entrance. As you can see here, we have the entrance, and we should uh, we should make some uh, open. Um, we should open it. How we can do that? First, uh, I want actually uh, use the wireframe mode because I want to see what's going on inside. And after that, I will create the new form. Let's create the new form. I will start from this side. Uh, first, I need some uh, middle line. I will put it here. Okay, and let's start from this side. Okay, here is the my wall. I will do like this. I will do straight one. And now this line I will just mirror. Let's mirror it like this. And now I will connect these two lines because as you know, we cannot create the form without finish connecting. And as you can see, the my drawing it's not so clear because now I know the my um, mirror it's correct on 100%. And as you can see here is we get like uh, point by point, but here not. So from this stage, we will use the this reference plan only like a reference, not like a true with dimension and blah, blah, blah because now we will do is only by uh, looks like and not on not 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 copy it okay we did it uh, let's go back to the 3d view and let's select our profile and here you no need create the form you need uh use this uh, tool here to create the form small tool just open up it and you will find here the uh, void form let's use the void form and let's do it until the end and as you can see, we get our entrance. So this is look like this. This is pretty simple, as you can see. After that, I will just apply the walls, and that's it. So that's why I'm using this one, this thing. Uh, let's continue with that. Uh, I will check it out how it look like. Uh, okay, with that thing we will do the by um, by wall, as you can see. This thing we will create by wall. This is not much problem. And now I saying about the roof, roof sloping, right? As you can see here. Uh, let's go back now to the mm, which view I will choose. Before we will go to the sum view, uh, I recommend you to create the plane. Let's create the plane, for example, on the middle part, and we will call it, uh, let's call it middle. Mid. So this is now calling mid. Uh, why I did that? Because now when I will change the view, for example, to east one, right? We are using the east view. Let's change the graphic to the shaded one. Now you can see the shaded graphics. And now I will use the work set plane name and mid one. Let's find the mid one. Let's say OK. So now we will draw our uh, form on this uh, midpoint. So and let's do that uh, sloping. 
I will again I am doing the approximately sloping uh, I I know I can make some mistakes but anyway this is not about how on a hundred percent make the replica we try and make not replica we try and make the kind of li looks like okay I did it as you can see the form uh, let's go back to 3d view here is our form and let's extrude it let's extrude it void form uh, again till the end here uh, I will use now this profile and till the end this profile let's check it out what we get and the first thing what I did the wrong you can see uh, I using not right um, uh, not right uh, cylinder so this is my mistake I will go back I'll go back let's go back uh, let's delete this profile and the first thing this um, shape going till the roof one like this this one going to the roof two. so this was mistake okay let's go back to the east view so it's not a big problem actually uh, here is my roof two. okay and let's make the sloping on the other side like this on the right side uh, again just let's select the uh, our reference plane as the mid one and let's draw the model line let's draw the model line let's make like six degrees too much maybe four, four degrees will be enough for us and let's create the form i will create like this so this is mistake uh, i should connect point to point let's use the top key point to point uh let's go back to 3d view you can do actually it's not on 3d view i i prefer on 3d view and let's create the void form here so let's do this until the end let's choose this profile by top key and till the end here and as you can see we get the sloping okay so we finish our uh, our form and now we will create the walls and this tutorial will finish uh, on uh, on the walls let's apply the wall okay uh, the first thing I will go to the first level I will finish my mess we finish already oh no we not finish uh, just one thing uh, I will think about my wall okay it will be internal wall uh, why we not finish as you can see my the first uh, cylinder and the second cylinder still like separate object it cannot be uh, we should make it like a one object why because when I will create the wall it should be uh, connecting with the other wall here how we can do that easily we just need to use joint geometry let's join this geometry and this and as you can see now it's like union geometry and this is what I want actually okay so we will leave like that and now we will finish our mess we finish our mess and let's create now wall and we will finish on the wall today uh, as you can see now it's a generic uh, wall and uh, I'm not sure we, which the um, uh, thickness we should use let's check it out by dimension it looks like 750 or we will use 700 millimeters so this is, will be pretty enough uh, let's go to <coughs> 3d view we will choose again the wall and let's modify this wall to 700 millimeters first we will duplicate it don't forget duplicate don't change what you already have we will change the 700 millimeters we will use now the only generic one we will change it later on and don't forget it change it on the structure too 700 millimeter let's say okay let's say okay so before we will start to create our wall uh, we should choose the pick the faces we, let's choose the pick the faces and now the second thing you will find here location line finish exterior or interior um, let's use the exterior let's go to the um, uh, plan view and as you can see when we're using the exterior this is our finish line and uh, now it's uh, we're creating the curve over you will see it's on the 3d let's create here let's create here i will create it everywhere and after that i will change it okay so we did it half of that uh, let's now change it the first thing as you can see uh, my wall here <laughs> uh, not like i want let's use the split line so let's use the split sl key or you will find it here the split so let's split this wall here and this wall here why because now i will using tr or trim so and i will trim this wall and this this wall and this and as you can see we get the connection what i how i want i will use the split again here and i will use the align let's do use align align let's use align again and i want align this face to that one 
Okay, we cannot. Uh, I will do it manually because uh, we don't have any gap here. And manually, it's also pretty well working. So as you can see, and we get the what we want. Okay, here is fine. As you can see, here is wall fine, but here not. We have the here sloping, but wall it's not sloping. Why? Because we should create the roof. Uh, let's create some simple roof. Uh, again, you can go to the messing side, and here you will find the roof. Let's find the here roof. And let's choose this um, this surface like a roof. Let's check it and let's create the roof. So here is our roof. And the second thing, let's select this wall and you will find here attached to base. Let's use the attached to base. And as you can see, shook, we get what we want. Let's make attached to base here and let's make attached to base here. Done. So now actually we no need uh, our missing form. Actually, we will need it later on. For now, we can it switch off. How to switch off? Just uh, click on here, show mess, and one more click, and you ah, you still see it here. If you st still can see your messing, you should do more thing. Uh, go to the uh, manage or oh, view. Here you will find visibility graphic, and here just under everything you will find the mess. Just uncheck it. So now you cannot see your mess, and now you can work with only your uh, real category, of, uh, I mean uh, real geometry from the Revit. Uh, so I think this is pretty enough for us for today. We will continue on the uh, other tutorials and we will do this building step by step in each tutorial. You just can follow me or you just can download it uh, on each uh, tutorial. Uh, who those who want to uh, check it out how it's working uh, on this stage, you will find uh, below this video, as I said again, you will find the files and you can use it. Don't forget, you should have the Revit 2020. Okay, guys, thank you. Don't forget about the comments and likes. Uh, I think it's not so hard will be for you, but I will much appreciate you. Thank you and see you next tutorial. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo scripts, or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.